So it's clear the fight has been joined. Now each of us must strive to alleviate our Lord's suffering as he is persecuted anew, to stand by him as he's condemned again, this time by the modern abuses to his church. We must help him bear the burden of this new cross that has been placed on his shoulders, the cross of disrespect, indifference, and sacrifice. By our allegiance and faith, we must help him rise when he stumbles under the weight of the unholy and the profane, and help to relieve the sorrow of his blessed mother, increasingly ignored by the modernists as she sees her son and his church suffer this new passion. Plus, we are called to help restore her to her rightful place at his side. And we must be new Cyrenians, who, by our continued devotion to the true Catholic Church, help lift Christ's modern burden. Or new Veronicas, who, by spreading the traditional faith, wipe the blood and tears of sadness from his magnificent face. Like the women of Jerusalem, we too may weep for our children as the Lord commanded. But then we must guide them, lest they blindly follow the blind. And no matter how many times our beleaguered church stumbles under the weight of the liberal onslaught, as Jesus stumbled under the cross, we must help her to her feet as we would our beloved Savior himself. Even when she is stripped of her dignity, as he was stripped of his garments, we must maintain the struggle for the truth. And with the pain of the nails and the agony of the cross, replaced by hurt and humiliation caused by those who no longer honor his name or respect his precious body and blood. We must work to restore his glory and that of his church. Though Christ has once more been taken down from the cross in Catholic churches throughout the world, and his consecrated body hidden away in obscure sepulchers, he will be resurrected as before resurrected through the love and the faith of those who by their dedication to his sacred heart and to the immaculate heart of his blessed mother will restore christ's one true and eternal church confirming our unshakable belief in the unassailable truth that neither he nor it will ever perish